All right, let's go a little bit deeper into what VDI is, and that's going to help explain to you what DAS is. Okay, so remember, VDI, we have a business that has a server, that has a hypervisor, that creates a virtual server, that creates a virtual machine. Now, this virtual machine is connected to another machine that has a browser. So any machine that has a browser can access this virtual machine. So what happens is that, for instance, there is no Windows operating system on this computer. There is no Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Word, or Slack, or QuickBooks, or anything on this computer. It's all on this virtual machine. What this client is doing, what, whether it's a laptop or a zero client is doing, it's showing a video, literally a video, that's coming from this virtual machine that has the applications of window on it, is streaming over on this device. And then when, when, let's say you type something, let's say you type the letter A on this device, it's sending a command over the internet or another circuit over to this virtual machine saying, I want to type an A. This is processing it here in Windows, in Microsoft Word, and it's sending a video back here saying, show the letter A in Microsoft Word, right? Multiply that by, you know, 100, by 1,000, by millions, as fast as you can type and move your mouse around. It's sending these signals over here to this virtual machine, processing them in this virtual machine using the processing power from this server and sending you a video back here on this device and that's, that's making it look like you're working on that computer. So um, you can tell here, obviously, <laughs> that what you need is a very fast connection here. Um, if this is VDI and if it's internal, it's got to be a very fast network, very expensive network, very expensive servers, very expensive equipment and software running all this together that, that really makes this work well.